Hello my dear students we have already learned the numbers that is we learned the numbers how to do in the international system and the indian system we have learned about the natural numbers the whole numbers also about the prime numbers odd number even number composite number factors and multiples moving ahead in the journey of numbers we also come across fraction so today we are going to study about fractions generally in a day to day life situation generally comes that where sharing is required so we have to share among two people or three people or four people so and we have to share equally among the three or four or five people so how you will do so the equal sharing is done so that uh, each gets the equal part or equal size so that e, uh, so that uh, so that the distribution is fair for example there are two siblings and we have to share equal the cake equally among those two so what you will do you will cut the cake into two halves and we, you will give to both of them so that the uh, the part of the cake which they are having is equal so they will not have a unfair decision that one gets more more or one gets less so this is all about the the thing, the cake what you gave is the half of the total so that is the half is called the fraction is a fraction of a whole number that is 1 so today we are going to study more about fraction and and also about the classification of fraction generally when a pizza comes in your house and there are four members in the house so how you will divide the pizza among the four members and you have to divide equally the equal you have to divide the pizza equally among the four members so what you will do you will take the pizza the pizza is like this this and you will take the cutter and you will cut into four halves yes the four half so this is the whole and you will cut the pizza into four halves so equal so there will be four parts 1 2 3 and 4 so the lower part the total number of part that the pizza has is 4 so it is denoted by in the down that is in it is denoted in the denominator and what each member gets is one of the total part one of the total part that means the total parts are four and each member gets one of the total part so each member gets one fourth of the total pizza if suppose a pizza has to be divided into two equal halves two equal halves it is two equal halves so how many parts two parts two parts so each member will get half each member will get half of the total pizza so this is called the fraction fraction are numbers that represent a part of the whole so in the definition it is written that fraction are numbers that represent a part of the whole so here you can see it is it it repre one fourth represent a part of the whole a whole is the pizza that the, the whole is a number that denotes the whole of a pizza so it represent one fourth of the total number a fraction is written in the form of n by d n refers to the numerator and d stands for denominator n refers to the numerator and d stands for denominator so the numerator so how many the each part what the each member get is denoted by the numerator and the total number is total how many parts are there it is denoted by the denominator so we will study d represent the total number of parts of the whole is divided into so it says that the d represent the total number of parts so how many parts if we will divide one pizza into four members so how many parts it will be there it will be four parts so d represent the four parts and n shows the number of parts taken into consideration for a particular case in hand that is how much each member gets so each member gets one of the to four part one of the four part that is one fourth and it can be written n upon d or n by d or n out of d so we can say one out of four 
so one member the first member got one out of four or we can say one by four or we can say one upon four so it can be denoted by like it can be denoted like this so that the word fraction is derived from the latin word fractio which means breaking which means breaking when something is broken and equally divided into two parts and we have to distribute the parts among each member it is the fraction of the whole part for example a pizza is there and it has to be distributed among eight members in a family so how you will distribute among eight members of the family you have to divide the pizza into eight parts is yes eight parts 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It is divided into 8, 8 parts. So, the total number of parts is 8. And each member gets 1 of the total 8 part. So, the fraction each member gets is 1, 8. So, the fraction one member is uh, getting is 1 out of 8 part. Or you can say 1 by 8 each member gets. Or you can say 1 upon 8 each member gets 1 upon 8. So here the numerator is, this is the numerator and 8 is the denominator. So 1 is the numerator and, and, uh, and 8 is the denominator and Denominator represent the total number of parts the whole is divided into. So, how many parts it is divided into? It is divided into 8 parts. And the numerator shows the number of parts that is taken into consideration. That is, each member gets how much of the total part. That is, one eighth of the total part each member gets. Now, uh, we will talk about the classification of a fraction. The fraction is divided into six types, six major types. So what are the six major types into what the fraction is divided into? The first one is the like fraction. Second one is unlike fraction. Third one is proper fraction. Fourth one is improper fraction. Fifth one is mixed fraction. And sixth one is equivalent fraction. In today's session, we will discuss about two types that is like fraction and unlike fraction so we will discuss today we are going to discuss about the like fraction and the unlike fraction what happens in the like fraction like fraction are those fraction which has the same denominator the denominator is same so the fraction is divided into two is uh, is like this numerator by denominator so denominator should be same and you can say that denominator 1 by 5 2 by 5 4 by 5. So, these are the like fraction. These are called the like fraction. So, one example is given. Example, pick out the like fraction from among 1 by 7, 3 by 8, 4 by 7 and 3 by 9. Yes, we can take out the like fraction. Which are the like fraction? 1 by 7 is, uh, uh, is same as 4 by 7. Yes, so if you have to put in a bar chart, how you will find the 1 by 7th? 1 by 7th means 1 portion of the 7th part. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So it is 1 portion of the 7th part. It is 1 by 7th. And what do you mean by 4 by 7th? So 4 by 7, 4 part of the total 7th part. It is 4 by 7. So these are the like fraction in which the denominator is same. But here you can see 3 by 8 is not same as 3 by 9. Because the denominator is not same. Also it is not same to 1 by 7 because the denominator is not same. Now what about the unlike fraction? Fraction that have different denominator is called the unlike fraction. For example, you can see 4 by 5, 3 by 4, 7 by 11. In these all, the denominators are different. So, it is called the unlike fraction. 
unlike fraction are those in which the denominators are different i can i can cite with an with an example see 1 by 2 is not same as 2 by 3 how 1 by 2 is like this and if we will take 2 by 3 it is like this so it is not same they are not same but these are called the like fraction in the like fraction the denominator is same and in the unlike fraction the denominators are different so today we studied about what do you mean by fraction what is a fraction and what are the different types of fraction that is the classification of fraction Fla fraction are of six types like fraction unlike fraction proper fraction improper fraction mixed fraction and equivalent fraction thank you